For exercise six, you're going to place a blank piece of paper under the metal airbrush board, just like you did in exercises four and five. Fix it in place with some of the uh, magnetic strips. Then place exercise six over the blank piece of paper with more magnetic strips. With an X-Acto knife, you're going to cut around the perimeter of the bottom section of the cylinder. Remember to apply only enough pressure so that you cut through the top piece of paper without cutting, cutting through the bottom piece of paper. Remember, if you do happen to cut through the bottom piece of paper a little bit, you can repair it from the back side with either masking tape or scotch tape. If you cut it uh, too badly, then you're going to have to start the project over. For some projects, you'll want to save the pieces of paper that you cut away and use them at a later time, but for exercises 4, 5, and 6, just throw these pieces of paper away immediately. This way we don't uh, leave a mess at uh, the airbrush station. Place magnets around the perimeter of the bottom section of the cylinder. You want to get a nice tight edge around the perimeter so that when you spray you're not going to get paint in areas of the painting that you don't want. Adjust the airbrush spray to a medium spray. Then begin spraying in the very center of the cylinder in upward and downward motions, moving right. Make two or three passes until you get some fair coverage over the right half of the cylinder. Then spray on the left edge of the cylinder in the same manner as you did towards the right. Notice the white reflection that you get towards the middle. Next, we're going to want to create a little highlighted edge towards the very right of the cylinder. So take the masonite board mask and place it just above the right, far right edge. Spray, and notice how we get a little darker edge against that light highlight. I'm going to be looking for that light highlight when I go to grade your papers. Next, adjust the magnets around the outer perimeter of the top section, and then you can blow dry uh, to make sure that the bottom section is dry before moving on to the top section. Then cut out the top section with the exacto knife, just like you did the bottom section, making sure that you don't cut through the bottom piece of paper. Before, throw this top piece of paper away immediately so as to not leave a mess. Spray this top section in horizontal motions. As you go back and forth and move downward, move away in distance and lighten up on the air pressure. You want to get a, a gradation that moves from dark to light as you move down. Remember to put your name and period on each of your airbrush papers. Always rinse out the airbrush whenever you're done using it. Apply the water tube into the airbrush and spray into the funnel for about 8 to 10 seconds. Close the paint cap all the way by turning it counterclockwise. 
This will keep paint from drying inside this chamber and clogging the airbrush up. Since this concludes your airbrush exercises, staple all your exercises together in order and place them in an ease grade tray. Thank you very much.